All right, find the geometric mean of 4 thirds and 108. Geometric mean, this, wor this means that I'm going to find the number x that such that x is a proportion between 4 thirds and 108. You can put them either way, either place you want, it doesn't matter. But what's going to happen is when I cross multiply, I'm going to get x squared equals 108 times 4 thirds. Now what I tell people to do is to simplify before you complicate. Don't multiply 108 times 4 thirds. Cancel out. Break 108 down. What does 108 break down into? Uh, it's 9 times oh yeah, this is a hard 12, I think. Is that 9 times 12? 108 is 9 times 12? Yes. And then the 9 and the 3 will cancel out, and you'll have 3 left up here. Now, simplify before you complicate. A lot of people want to multiply the 3 and the 12 and the 4 together, but I say break it up. Break up 12 into 3 times 2 times 2, break up 4 into 2 times 2. I'm breaking it all up because now what am I going to do to solve for x? How do I solve for x now? I need to take the square root. And wouldn't it be easier if I can see there is a perfect square, there is a perfect square, there is a perfect square. So what's going to come out? The square root. There's going to be a 3, a 2, and a 2. So 3 times 2 times 2 is 12. So the square root of that number is 12. So x equals 12. It's not so hard. So that's how you find the geometric mean, and that's how to do it without using a calculator by simplifying before you complicate. Let's try another one. Find the geometric mean of 2 thirds and 96. So let's do this quicker this time. X is to 2 thirds as 96 is to X, which means X squared equals 2 thirds times 96. 96, break this down, 96 is, what's 96 is 3 times 32, right? So those 3's cancel. So now I get 2 times 32. Well, 2 times 32 is 64. I see that right away, and I'm not afraid to multiply those together because I can see the square root of 64 eight. Eight. is 8. Learn. X equals 8. I shouldn't write it there. I should write it like that. X equals 8, and there's my answer. Done.